Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about White of the Reliquary. For one black and one green, it's a creature Zombie Knight 2-2 with Vigilance, White of the Reliquary gets plus one plus one for each creature card in your graveyard and tap sacrifice another creature search your library for a land card put it onto the battlefield tap then shuffle so this is a throwback to the card knight of the reliquary which i love because shores of alara is my favorite block in all of magic and that card was really good back in the day because it would grow itself from having lands in your graveyard but you could also just sacrifice lands to find any land you wanted this is very similar in many ways but it's got a couple of upgrades to it so in general it's slightly worse in lands decks than Knight of the Reliquary might be, although the colors do fit landfall decks a little bit more. Having black rather than white is definitely a plus. And the thing is, land decks are making a bunch of tokens anyway, so this might still be very good in those decks, but of course it isn't going to be anywhere near as big in those decks as it will be in creature decks because it counts creatures in graveyards instead of lands. Still, having Vigilance is a really nice upgrade because it means you can smash in with your huge creature and then later on still tap it to sacrifice a creature if you want to, to find a land. So I think this has a lot of upsides compared to the old one and it seems very very strong to me. For starters this is an actual ramp card whereas the old one put a land into the graveyard and search one from your deck so it didn't actually get you ahead on lands even though it was nice that you could find any land you wanted. This card straight up is going to give you an extra land every turn and all you need to do is sacrifice a creature. Now what kind of decks might be interested in doing that you ask? Well there's a ton of decks in commander that are going to want to do precisely that. For starters this is going to be incredible in a deck that's going to make a bunch of tokens. Something like Grismold comes to mind. You're going to be making tokens tokens with that every turn so you don't mind sacking them to get a land with it. So creating tokens is obviously really good because you can turn those tokens into extra lands and since they can be any lands you can assemble all sorts of combos with this such as finding a Cabal Coffers piece, Urborg Tomb of Yorgmoth when you have a bunch of Swamp Wolf creatures perhaps due to filth or just kind of any utility land such as Tectonic Edge or Scavenger Grounds or anything that you really need. They're all going to be great to find with this and that's obviously very good in token decks but where it starts to get really good is when you move into decks that want to have creatures hit the graveyard or the want to have stocked graveyards. So for example, Caradol Ghost Chieftain will absolutely love this card. You have a bunch of little creatures that have ETBs or death triggers that don't really do that much and then you can just sack them to go find one of the best lands in your deck, perhaps Crypt of Agadim to add a bunch of mana due to all the black cards you're going to have in your graveyard or just anything else. Being able to fill this up, get White of the Reliquary to be absolutely massive because of course in those decks you're going to have tons of creatures and just keep ramping out the best lands in your deck and even if it gets killed you get to just recast it again from the graveyard that just seems insane this card is handmade for Carador decks it's also going to be really really good in Henzi toolbox Torre, as most cards tend to be because the creature is going to be hitting the bin at the end of turn anyway so you might as well sacrifice them to find a great land to put it onto the battlefield and you're still going to get to draw a card off of Henzi and do all of those nice Henzi things not only that but you're running a ton of creatures in Henzi decks as well so this is also going to be massive so those are two decks off the top of my head that will absolutely love this but of course there's tons and tons of decks that really want this once you get into the combo potential of this card it gets even more insane with something like blood gas and retreat to coral helm you can kind of go infinite with this because you basically sack the blood gas to this go search a land put it into play the blood gas comes back and then you have retreat to coral helm which is going to untap white of the reliquary and you just rinse and repeat until you get all the lands in your deck onto the battlefield there's probably a bunch more combos that you can assemble with this that are quite convoluted but that's probably the best way to do it and because of that a shell that would really like this is Simone and Dina where this can go really really insane and it gives you kind of a backup to your commander as a way to combo off and even outside of all of that it might just see play in regular decks as a way to tutor up lands turn after turn that ability on its own is pretty good even if you do have to give up a creature for it I see this card as being incredibly powerful and I look forward to playing it in a bunch of my decks so there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler what do you think though do you disagree with me or do you think I got it right let me know in the comment section below I I always make sure to read all of your comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care.